Hey everybody, this is the Congress Guy back with another deck review. Today we're going to be looking at Rose from 1905. Uh, silk finish, um, looks like wood grain, uh, and I'll get into that in a minute. Got the light blue box here. And Congress playing cards, 606 gold edges. And the tax stamp looks to be 1908 when it was canceled. So it could have been sitting on the shelf for a couple years. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Oh, nice gold edges. I've had this deck for about four years, I think. Three or four years. All right. So here is Rose. A beautiful lady with big hair and a long neck. Uh, got roses around it, of course. I'm going to look at the Joker. Standard capital Joker of the time. Um, at least from 1904 to about, say, 1914, 1915, somewhere around there. All right, Ace of Spades, US 6F. Now let's see if we can get in here and look. There it is. Look at that. Looks like wood grain. You can kind of see it there. You gotta get that light just right. I can really see them now in in this light. You don't. Know, this is this is silk finish for you. These cards, they, they slide. They they really seem to slide right off. The, so we're going to go through it here. So this is one of a couple of decks that I have that are silk finish. Uh, the other one I have is, uh, it's pretty beat up. Um, I won't be showing that one off, but this one is, is one of the finer silk finish ones you'll find. Um, I don't know how long they used this finish, but, man, I wish they'd make, them, make more of them nowadays. I'd buy a bunch of decks like that. Still have the flesh tones on the court cards. So if you're into antique deck collecting like I am, um, and you happen to cross, cross the Congress brand, um, like I said, they're all gold edges except for the 404s, which was basically 1881 to 1890s sometime. Gold edges were, were there pretty much from the beginning, um, also known as extra Congress. Um, and Congress is still made today. They're probably the longest running, the oldest, um, deck still being produced in America today, um, 1881. Uh, bicycle showed up in 1885. So they've got four years on bicycle. And Congress decks are still being printed in Spain today. So we go through the last half of the cards here. Just a beautiful deck. It's a window in time. This one I've seen for sale a few times. Um, like I said, I don't, we don't know exactly how many are out there or how many even produced. We get 10 to 20,000 produced, maybe more uh, throughout the years. Um, but I imagine not a lot left and not many in this condition. Excellent condition. And for the last suit. Beautiful deck. You just don't see what looks like wood grain on cards. And for the final few. And that, my friends, is Rose. So if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Go ahead and click on notifications. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, there's not a lot of antique cards being shown out there. I'm one of the very, very, very few, if not one of the only ones. Um, but like I said, I stick to Congress brand. Uh, I will have uh, um, other antique decks uh, here and there. Um, but once again, thanks for, for watching the video. Um, if you want to get a hold of me, uh, click in the comments there. I'm happy to answer any question. Uh, if you've got issues, um, 
you got some deck of cards that you're not quite sure what you got, um, hit me up, thecongressguy at yahoo.com, or find me on Instagram, the.congress.guy, or on Facebook, The Congress Guy, under pages. So thanks for checking out Rose. Um, she is a very spry 106 year old. 116 year old, excuse me, 116 year old. So, um, looks pretty good for her age. So, thanks again, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.